Hello, all of you professional gamers out there in the world. I am Mega Amster. Welcome to my channel. I have another unboxing for all of you today. Um, this was kind of a spur of the moment purchase because Target had like all these buy two get one free deals, man. Like they had a buy two get one free for board games and puzzles as well as video games, but GameStop already got me with one of those. So I figured, you know what? Might as well do another one. Um, but in this case, actually, so. I have a version of Monopoly, but, like, it's not very good. If any of you have done, like, I think I want to say it's, like, the 40th anniversary. or It's either, is it 40th? I think it's 40th anniversary Star Wars edition where it's based off of A New Hope. But the issue is all the property in that game is based off of, like, scenes in the movie, which is really stupid. I think they did that just to change it up, but it's really dumb. I don't like it. Then I saw, when I was looking at that buy two get one free deal, that Target had this Animal Crossing New Horizons based Monopoly, and I decided, you know what? I want it. <laughs> I want it, because it also looks like it might have its own spin on Monopoly too, which is definitely interesting. You know, because you got your basic Monopoly where you're buying up property and trying not to go bankrupt and all of that. Um, but I think there's more of a uh, gimmick here, but let's look into this a little bit. Um, hopefully the quality is okay. I haven't opened this up yet, but it is obviously based off Monopoly and based off of Animal Crossing New Horizons. So as you can see on the bottom left here, enjoy island life and earn Nook Miles to win. So the Nook Miles part I'm interested in to see how that mechanic factors into the game. Uh, two to four players, ages eight plus. And it looks like, okay, so four character tokens. So it looks like you get to play as um, some of the villagers, which is kind of cool. So they give you some options to play as. Um, it's interesting how there's only four. Because I'm pretty sure most Monopoly games have, what, usually six pieces total or something like that. So... It looks like it's limited to four players. I've never played Monopoly with certainly no more than four players. That seems like way too much, honestly, beyond that. So um, nothing too crazy on the sides here. Um, yeah, it looks like you're pretty much a standard uh, Monopoly box, but with the New Horizons art. So it's definitely, it looks really good. Let's check out the back here. We've got, welcome to your deserted island getaway. Okay, so you get to visit islands, collect resources, and earn nook miles. Okay. I wonder how you visit islands here. Complete island tasks, meet villagers, and shop in Nook's Cranny. So there's like a lot. They're really like implementing a lot of Animal Crossing into this game, which I'm curious to see how they do it. Like you can even shop in Nook's Cranny, okay. Choose a character skill and rack up the, oh, so they each have skills too, interesting. And then you earn bells obviously instead of your usual dollars here. And okay, to win you have to earn the most Nook miles. So here's a little bit of a diagram of the box itself. So you can see the, they almost look like a mini amiibo, the four player uh, villagers on the left, each have their own token. Oh, maybe the token that they have, those tokens are what you use to move across the board, possibly. Um, there's a bunch of pieces here. Yeah, character tokens. Uh, oh, I see the skill cards at the bottom. Okay. Uh, decoration cards. I don't know what those are supposed to be, but you know how normally Monopoly has like chance or uh, what is a chance or like treasure or something like that? I don't remember what they're called, to be honest. Is I don't play Monopoly very often anymore. Um, but yeah, like they, there's a bunch of different cards here, it looks like, which is cool. You see the Nook Miles card. It looks like some of those might be related to shop cards. And there's all these different tokens for like fossils, fruit, butterflies, and fish. So I'm curious to see how those are going to work. I don't even think there's like property, really. It's like you're just kind of traveling. That's interesting. That's going to change up a lot of the game in that case. Um, okay, so they still have chance cards, I guess. Nook mile cards. Those are probably like the treasure cards almost. Um, resource chips. Okay, resources are going to be a big thing in this game. And bell coins. Okay. Um, number die. Nook's oh, the Nook's Crane has a separate die. That's cool. And then obviously the game guide and the label sheet. Cool. Well, let's... Um, I'm curious to see how this is going to go. So let's get this box open. Um, I'm actually going to... There's a little bit of tape on the side here. I'll remove this tape later. I just, for the purposes of this unboxing, I just kind of want to get it open. So I'm just going to very carefully cut the uh, pieces of tape on the side here. Let me know in the comments below if I'm unboxing this like a complete monster. Let me know. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should purposefully open it upside down just to like have all the contents come smashing out. No, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. I will not do that. I know how to open a Monopoly box correctly. So, okay, that one's still stuck a little bit. There we go. Inside we've got what looks to be, okay, just like a little paper insert. Pretty much how to play, okay. As you explore, you try to earn most Nook Miles by buying decorations. Oh, okay. So by buying stuff in Nook's Cranny and Nook Mile cards, 
and bells, you can kind of earn more nook miles. Okay. Roll both dice, do what board space. Okay, so it's really not like you're not buying you're not really buying, but honestly, maybe I should keep the Star Wars edition because this seems completely different. If you pass go shop a nook's cranny. Oh wow. Okay, so this is actually I thought this was straight up going to be like a an Animal Crossing rendition, like just in theme only, but it seems like they're really changing the mechanics here, which is interesting. Um We've got some kind of short game guide. Yeah, a little bit. I'm not gonna go through all this right now. Um, I was I was gonna ask what's the uh, equivalent of jail in Animal Crossing. I don't know if there is one. Free parking. Yeah, okay. And there's just some instructions in here. I'm not gonna look at those just yet because I'm not gonna actually learn how to play right now. Um, but let's look at the game board itself. So, yeah, it's pretty much your basic. It might be a little smaller. I think most Monopoly boards are usually like rectangles. This is a little um, a little smaller, but you can see, yeah. Go space. Okay, yeah, when you pass go, you browse Nook's Cranny. Let me move this box out of the way first, just for the moment. Now we can get kind of a more full view of it right here. Um, it's definitely very colorful. I like the design there. Um, but, yeah, so it looks like Chance. And then decoration and then nook miles. Okay, so chance cards are still here, but the decorations have their own thing. And then nook mile cards as well. Okay, and you can see, of course, you got to have Dodo Airlines as the uh, transportation spaces. That's perfect. Um, okay, so it looks like chance is still the question mark. And then you have these nook mile cards. And I'm guessing the decorations come into effect when you pass go and get to uh, browse nook's cranny. Free parking, I don't even know that. I'm assuming that just still functions like normally. There are no cars. You can't have free parking with no cars. Actually, well, I guess, um, oh, who drives a bus? Cap'n, right? Doesn't Cap'n drive a bus in like City Folk or something? So like, it could be that, I don't know. Um, here's a bunch of the tokens. So it looks like I'm gonna have to punch all these out. So I think these are character tokens. These four sets here. And then there's some fossil tokens here. These are some of the resources you can get. Um, there's a there's a couple, at least a couple more. Well, there's one more big sheet. Okay. Um, oh, two more. I lied. What, am I missing one of them? I'm missing an apple. Unless it fell out already, the box. But more fossils, apples, butterflies, fish. Yeah, and it looks like bells. It looks like individual coins and then the bags. Okay, so this, that's your pretty much your currency, it looks like. There's one more sheet, though. I wonder if one of those fell out. It's probably in the box somewhere, but... And here's more of them. We got even more, pretty much the same resources we just saw, but different colors. Just, uh, I'm gonna have to punch all of those out. There's a ton of them. That doesn't make sense. You want to have a lot of resources. Um, I don't see the apple. What the hell? Oh, I found it. <laughs> it did fall out. There it is. There's this singular apple. Um, oh, what's on the other side? Oh, what the heck? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's a double-sided. Look at that. It's got... Is that a four coin? I guess it's a four coin one, and then it's just the apple one. Interesting, okay. Uh, got a couple of the card packs here too that I, I'll open these up so we can look at the cards a little bit. Um, let's see. Okay, so these are, these are the Nook Mile cards it looks like. There's some chance cards here too, but let's look at the Nook Mile cards. What do these actually say? Seller of unwanted stuff. When you roll the Nook's Cranny die, you may sell the resource you rolled and choose an this seems like way more strategic than like normal Monopoly. First time buyer pay two coins by the end of the game. Whoa, or lose five miles. Five's not a lot though. Whoa, loan payments. Uh oh, of course there's loan payments. So there are a lot of these Nook Miles cards. It's like you have to give certain money or resources to the bank. Oh, I see. But by doing that, some of these you have to do right away. But some of these you get miles later for it. Okay, that's definitely interesting. Is this? Oh, my bad. Okay. This is actually a skill card. That's why I was confused. So let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these skill cards more. Chance, it's time to pay your... No. What? I'm getting these mixed up. I apologize. Here we go. Okay, so each, pro each player, if you do a max of four players, has a different skill. Okay. When you buy decoration from Nook's Cranny, subtract three. Okay. Sell a resource. Visit or discover an island. I don't even know how you do that. Maybe, oh, it's got to be the Dodo Airlines there. And roll the Nook's Cranny die. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like everybody can kind of have their own skills. I don't know if you... I, you probably get to choose that at the beginning of the game. I'm guessing it's not random, but who knows. Um, okay, here are the chance cards now. Uh, we got KK Slider here. An island paradise with your best pal. Sounds pretty groovy to me. 
yeah, so these are pretty much just like your typical Monopoly chance cards, where in this in a lot of these cases, it might be, yeah, collect a certain number of coins. Um, of course, they're going to have red in here. We got Daisy May. Of course, they put freaking, what is this, Raymond? The one that everybody loved, like, at launch. Um, Leaf! What's up, buddy? Um, oh, I love Apollo. Apollo's in here. Okay, some of these aren't just earning. You actually have to pay in some of them, too. That's interesting. There's one more deck of cards, so I'm curious to see. I thought we went through them all, but maybe there's more here, too. Okay, there's some more... These stickers, I guess. There's just a set of stickers here. Interesting. Okay. Um, but we've also got... Oh, these must be decorations. That's what these are. These are all decorations that you can buy. Yeah, so when you go to Nook's Cranny, I'm guessing these are the decorations you buy. There's a bunch of them in here. Um, oh, the outdoor bath. Yeah, I, rec <laughs> I actually do recognize a lot of these items from the game itself. That's so funny. Um, are any funny ones? Oh, I wonder if the monster's in here. Big old monster. I doubt it. Oh, the tree stump, of course. Oh, nice. The Animal Crossing Switch edition. That's so funny. Um, but yeah, that's cool. This is, I guess, they'll like by buying stuff in this game, you will acquire more miles somehow. Oh, I see. There's a little miles counter. Right. So you, okay, I see. So you buy these with bells, but then like they add up at the end of the game to give you a certain number of miles. That's interesting. Okay. Um, so it's like you really want to, it incentivizes you to really want to buy more items in the game so you can actually like, yeah, you'll get rewarded for more miles to the very end. But okay, let me, this is the last thing. I think these are the player characters, like not just the tokens, but the actual models of the player characters that you get to use in the game. Oh, and then I forgot about the dice as well. Um, oh! These stickers must be for this this dice here. This is a blank dice. This is this a resource dice then I'm guessing? Or could it even be that it could be the Nook's Cranny die, I'm not sure. Um got a regular six-sided die there too, but okay, interesting. Um, there's actually a few pieces in here. Oh, it looks like we're individually un um, unwrapping each one of these player tokens here. First up we got this one, the orange hat, we got the fishing rod, that's cute. I feel like that would be a very easy piece to uh, kind of lose. I love it. I love these little player characters here. These little uh, markers you can move. Although, it doesn't stay up at all. What the hell? <laughs> because of that, uh, that fishing rod, it just knocks over very, very easily. All right. Next. We got next. Oh. We got a net. We got a butterfly catching net with the pink hat. Love it. Love the variety we got going on here. At least that one stands up. I don't, like, I like the one with the fishing rod, but it just doesn't stand up. <laughs> like, how am I supposed to use that? Am I supposed to keep track of where I'm going? Oh, I think this this one's my favorite already. I think I like this one the most with the apple and like the green knit hat. That's really cool, I like this one. Look at that, it's adorable. All right, one more. This is the last thing, I promise. This is the last of it. Um, sorry for the constantly out of focus lens, but uh, Gotta show, show off the close-ups too. Here is the final one. This is um, Villager with the Shovel for, um, I'm assuming digging up fossils or other plants and stuff. And a little backpack, look at that, that's cool, I like it. I, li I really, I do like the variety on display here, I will say. This game just looks super, super colorful. Can I get you to stand up please, like? Oh my goodness, this fish, It's the issue is the fish on the rod. Maybe? Oh, we did it, okay, cool. That is pretty much it for the Animal Crossing Monopoly unboxing. I'm honest, I'm honestly shocked overall. I thought this was literally going to be just um, your regular Monopoly, but with the Animal Crossing theming. But you're really not, you're not buying or selling property. You're just gaining resources, which is interesting. So I feel like it honestly might be faster. It might be a faster version of Monopoly, which... Honestly, maybe I want to keep the Star Wars one because the Star Wars one is actually more like legit Monopoly, whereas this is like resource collecting, buying stuff from the shop. I like the idea of this. I really do. So I'll, <laughs> I will let you know if I get to play it at some point, convince the people to play it. It just seems super fun and like definitely a good spin on the usual Monopoly because Monopoly, I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's a little boring sometimes. It kind of drags on. It tends to drag on at least and be kind of a long game, but like... With the bases here, I mean, it could still be a long game, but it seems like it shakes it up from the usual, um, you know, Monopoly. Thing. Actually, what year did this come out? 
This was, okay, this was 2021. So this isn't that old, this is probably like a year old. Not bad, so it's a fairly recent version. Hey, I'm excited to try it out. I hope you liked the unboxing here. It's very colorful, I enjoyed unboxing this for all of you. Let me know in the comments below if you have this version. Let me know if you've played it, because I'm genuinely curious to see how you like it, how it compares to more typical, you know, renditions of Monopoly. Or let me know if this made you interested at all. If you like the unboxing you saw, it's, I just like how colorful it is, really. I want to try it out at some point, though. Um, but thank you all again so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. I've been doing a lot more, like, board and tabletop game unboxings. What the hell? <laughs> I've been trying to stray away from buying video games, I think. But anyways, that's going to do it for this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching again. Always appreciate it. And I will catch you all on the next unboxing video or other kind of video or live stream in the future. So take care. Have a good one.